Ahoy there! Here's what's new in DevTools in Chrome 81. First up, device mode now supports Moto G4. Click Toggle Device Toolbar, then open the Device List and select Moto G4. DevTools resizes the viewport to the dimensions of a Moto G4 device. Click More Options, then select Show Device Frame to show Moto G4 hardware around the viewport. Click the Throttling List and select Low End Mobile to throttle your network and CPU to more accurately simulate a typical mobile browsing experience. The Cookies pane in the Application panel now displays blocked cookies and lets you edit values. Here in this table, the blocked cookies have a yellow background, and I can enable the Only Blocked checkbox to only show blocked cookies. To edit a value, double click a cell. The only value that's not editable is the size column because that represents the network size of the cookie in bytes. The new copy as Node.js fetch command lets you copy a fetch expression to the clipboard that includes cookie data. Right click a network request and select copy, copy as Node.js fetch, and DevTools copies a fetch expression to your clipboard. When I paste the expression into the console, you can see that the headers object contains a cookie field. To be honest, I don't know why the Node.js command needs to include cookie data, but I'll find out and give an explanation in the comments section of this video. The manifest pane in the application panel now shows the exact same icon that Chrome uses. Previously, DevTools would perform its own network requests, which would occasionally result in DevTools showing a slightly different icon than Chrome. You can now hover over CSS content properties to see unescaped values. After I right-click and inspect this node, I see the escape value of the content property in the Styles pane. If I hover over that value, I see the unescaped value. The console now provides more details on why a source map failed to load or parse. Previously, it would just log an error without explaining what went wrong. There's now a setting for disabling the default behavior of scrolling past the end of a file in the Sources panel. Here in this file, when I scroll down, I can scroll well past the end of the file. To disable this default behavior, I press F1 and then disable the Allow Scrolling Past End of File checkbox. Now I can't scroll past the end of the file. Here's a bonus tip. DevTools has a lot of hidden features. An easy way to explore them is to press Escape to open the drawer, then click More Tools. Each of these options represents a tab with features. For example, Search gives you a global search UI, and Quick Sources is a way to view the source of a file while you've got another panel open. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 82.